morning, day 44. 44? Hope so. Anyway, I might be a day ahead of myself. Um, I did some more on the jelly bean and I'm really liking it. Um, I'm still unsure what to finish it in and I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking when I know we can do it together. Yeah, so anyway, it's getting closer. Maybe tomorrow we'll do the edge on that. So last night, oh, oh, look, look at this. That man, he's amazing. He made me the most beautiful coffee and guess what? It's got the most beautiful pattern down the side of the cup and I love it. And I'm going to lick it off later. Anyway, oh, I can't wait for a mouthful of coffee. And this is what an addict look like looks like. Oh there you go. So, so today is a new day, and um, yeah, I I decided that I would um, start working with the Powell Bay lamb's wool, and I found other other wools to make um, for maybe a special baby blanket for someone or a knee rug for a breastfeeding mum or just a a, a a hug or something anyway it's um it's really nice to work with that wool knowing that it's going to have a special job anyway um We are on the six and a quarter, which seems to be a favourite right now for me. And we are just going to get a nice ball of that Pearl Bay wool that I unpulled. And we're going to go up the next layer. I am. Um, I managed to find some really nice um, mohair and other baby walls to add into the um, to this particular blanket. And um, yeah, I'm really um, excited to work on such a special blanket. Um, yeah, so uh, today is a shopping cart kind of day. Um, I complained yesterday about things not going in the mail, coming in the mail, um, but for the special gift that we got yesterday, which was lovely. Um, but I spend my life building shopping carts for other companies and so I get to see products all the time that people are putting online and selling and um, and it's interesting to watch uh, the success of salmon and the the um, quiet waiting of others and yeah one two three Yes, so um, I think a, a, a successful shopping cart is um, something that um, the business deliberately goes out and talks about and promotes and makes their product stand out um, rather than waiting for someone to 
talk about a product they don't even know about so that they can find them on Google. The best example I have of that is um, when electric bikes first came out, uh, nobody really knew about electric bikes and didn't talk about electric bikes. Um, but we had a really innovative company up here that um, was using electric bikes and what they do and um, trying to promote electric bikes in a way that they were waiting for people to come and find their electric bikes. And until they changed how they did that, until they addressed the issue, which was that people didn't know about electric bikes, um, they struggled. And now people know about electric bikes. It's not an issue anymore and people search for them on Google and, and um, all I can say is what a difference eight years makes. Eight years, something like that. Um, to how we all think about um, transport and um, the electric revolution um, and having said all that um, I bought myself a um, pedal myself bike um, pedal my own energy up a hill because somehow I, I, I think that that's a more me kind of effort anyway I like to do things under my own steam so I am really loving this have a great day and I'm going to um, put more products in a shopping cart or something like that today. I think there's a few shopping carts to look at. Anyway, <laughs> not the conversation I expected to have with you. Um, and yeah, sayonara babes. Have a good one.